Good morning. It is a beautiful day at, in at the falls in Bracebridge, Muskoka, Ontario, Canada. It is 17 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, mid 70s, somewhere around there. It is a beautiful, beautiful uh, November day. It's unseasonably weird to have this warm of a temperature, but it's great. It's fantastic. There are people out, you can hear them down at the uh, the docks down there. Um, so I'm checking out, it's like 11 o'clock, I'm supposed to check out 11, uh, but the owner, she is an amazing lady, if you ever stay here, uh, fantastic woman, uh, very accommodating, very friendly, uh, and she said the people that were in the haunted room have checked out early, and if uh, I would like to go and check it out, I'm more than welcome. It's the bed and everything isn't made, so be prepared for that. It's not made up, but the room is gorgeous. She just showed it to me. So let's go in. I'm getting ready. All my Most of my stuff is in the car. Uh, I just have to, I'm uploading my vlog right now, and I just have to finalize all that stuff, and I'll put everything back in the box. Let me put my mask on. We finally get to go to the haunted room. So she left it unlocked for me. Again, very, very nice lady. Uh, there you go, guys. So this is the haunted room. William Mulock room 105. Let's do this. Nice and slow. Nice light switch. Slowly come in. Again, they haven't made up the room yet. So it's an unmade bed at the moment. Look at this room. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And this amazing bed. There's actually steps to get up into the bed. So it is such a high bed. I'm guessing that's three feet up, maybe more. Let me just back up a bit. Try to get you the most room available. This is so cool. Apparently people will drive up from the city just to do a drive-by of this place and take a peek. And uh, she seems to be willing enough to, to show people around. And this is just above the front entrance. I'm trying to see if we hear something. Oh, that's the guy outside hammering. I'm like, oh my gosh, we heard something. Uh, look at this nice, guess you can hang up clothing on that. It almost looks like one of those newspaper things you put magazines on, but I guess you could also hang clothing. Check out this lamp. And then that kind of eerie picture of a child. I'm not sure if that has any relevance to this room or the history of this room. Then the bathroom is a pedestal stink sink of course, toilet, nice mirror, and this bathroom, this bathtub actually has two sides to it, which is very odd to have a bathtub in between three walls, basically. Well, there we go, guys. We finally get to see the actual haunted room. I'm so glad we got to show it to you. I'm so glad that uh, the owner let me do this. Hats off. Found the ironing board. <laughs> I 
I don't hear anything. Maybe it has to be nighttime. All right, guys, let's go. Before something really does happen. As you can see, I'm all packed up. It's gonna take two trips, because I got the, the big computer box and this box, and I can't take them at the same time. So I'll, I'll do two trips, then drop the key off to the front desk, and then we'll be on our way. Hope you guys enjoyed the stay here and uh, have some more stuff to vlog about. Just dropped the box off. Now I only have the computer, but it's time to check out. I did my triple check, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Nothing, no chargers in the walls. I had something plugged back here. Everything's good. All right, let's go. Just finished up eating at Nick's family restaurant. Huge, huge breakfast. Oh man, I won't be eating at all for the rest of the day uh, until tomorrow for sure. Uh, that was a lot of food. Again, the, the, the thickness of the pea meal bacon was the thickness of a steak. Um, and there was two pieces. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I couldn't believe how much food it was. Um, like I said in the food video, the uh, the pancakes were dry and I uh, probably wouldn't recommend eating the pancakes there uh, unless they change the recipe up and hopefully they uh, somehow let people know that they've changed the recipe up because I wouldn't eat those pancakes again. I bet their French toast is good though. But everything else on the plate, the eggs, the bacon, the sausage, the pea meal, the home fries, everything about that that breakfast was phenomenal and the coffee was great too it wasn't too strong uh, I put cream in it since I was having such a big breakfast I didn't want to drink black coffee today but I normally drink black coffee but I thought I'd try it with the cream all right so we are all done here in Bracebridge we are headed home got a lot of videos to edit and uh, lots of work to do to catch up and get out the the information to you guys and uh, so you have something to watch all right, let's go home.